Well, that's two down. And now we do know... Okay, let's let's go back to uh, to what's it? Mushroom Palace. It's this one. No. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Might actually take me back to where I want to be. Um. The hell? <laughs> okay. There's another camera glitch thing where I couldn't move. Um... Let's go see if this place got flooded yet. It did not. What the hell is the purpose of this? Okay, let's go see if I can pull that lever now. This time I will deliberately fall off this thing. You know, the camera will decide it's going to do its own thing there. Maybe those have to open? did that do anyway? I think it's what powered the gate. Could maybe only one of these go at a time? see anything that is blocking that from moving. Okay, I'm gonna set that in motion again, just assuming that we need to. We're gonna take a trip and see where this thing goes again. Okay, that's powering the elevator. This powers this thing. I swear there's something to do still over there. All right, let's uh, let's go somewhere more quiet first, and then I will I will look this one up too. The one that really baffles me is the desert one, because we weren't even able to get out of the first area on that one. But I'm convinced that the last thing I need is in that one branch that will not move yet. Oh, except there's... There's music in here! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, we'll just hang out here for a minute. 
Eh, whatever. We'll just listen to the music. <laughs> okay, let me uh, get out of this and check over here. Uh, Garrison again. Okay, listen to Yisha. Okay. So Garrison. Circular courtyard. Elevator up from the key room. Okay. We we are complete with that. Now, go to Kadish Telesa. Uh that was the very first one that I appear to have finished. Hold on a tick. So Teladon. Correct plates are the okay, okay. Uh, take a running jump, knock it down. On the other side there's a machine that squirts spores into the air when you pull the lever. Keep on going until you reach the shore. Out to sea is a hair dryer, okay, a gigantic thing. Off to the right is a door. And if you climb the crates, you can jump across to the ledge and activate the fifth journey cloth. Okay. Since you cannot get to the ladder above your head, jump... Oh, yeah, yeah, I knocked the ladder down, didn't I? That's right. Forgot all about that. Forgot about that. It really sucks that the only way to get over there easily is to keep using this teleporting mechanism. And where are all these books? I feel like I'm missing out on a lot here. Especially this stuff. And then, and then, aside from that, there's still Dunny. There's still the puzzles back inside of Dunny. That I never f finished. See what? <laughs> what keeps activating the machinery around here? Yeah, I forgot all about this. Okay, turn off running so we don't overshoot. And more ladder climbing simulator. Okay, well this looks like the last one. So that one's completed. But it doesn't feel complete. You know what I mean? Like, we got the pillar, but this doesn't feel like... <laughs> there's still too much missing. Now I've got a tie-dye shirt. Fantastic. Must be a map of this world. I don't know, maybe, maybe all that extra puzzle stuff was for the multiplayer? And they just... there's nothing here? I actually wanted to, to go out and see that whale. I want to see if I can look at it through the telescope. It's got to be a periodic thing that it pops up again, but... I want to at least look at that. Okay, any reading material? Is there any reason to be in here? Aside from the cloth? This is very disappointing. <sighs> Camera! God, what is causing that? Here 
here I am wearing my tie-dye now. Oh. I, I didn't even know there was a door back here. <laughs> okay. What? What? I, I'm just confused, I guess. So this is the way you're supposed to get there instead of climbing awkwardly up that ladder? And despite all the reading in that guy's uh, office, we haven't come across really any other lore books. So maybe that was just a one-time dump to kind of tell you everything about what's going on here. You know what, though? You know what, though? That journal also mentioned the, the fish tanks, right? And how he had several fish tanks. And that the code for each of them was specific and that there was like a, an upgraded one somewhere. So far I've only seen that one fish tank and it didn't require that code. There's just, there's so much missing. I guess we don't get there from here either. Okay. Um, well, before we I, I, I just want to go see how long we have to wait until that whale comes back. Or if I can get the whale to come back at all. And what what do these machines do? The walkthrough that I just looked at didn't seem to know what these machines do with the spores. I, I would only imagine they'd be for something like guiding a creature. You know, like you'd, you'd use it, it would attract a creature, you'd use it again, and it would move the creature... You maybe use the cannon to shoot those, and they drop spores in the water? Got the bird. Definitely not. I want to know what triggered that. I want to know what caused that thing to come out of the water the first time and how I get it to happen again. Because that bird thing flew over here, made a noise, which it was actually the whale. It's kind of what caught me off guard at first. Maybe it Maybe it was timing? Okay, I'm gonna pop out real quick. Come back over to here. Uru, how... Whoa, turn the capitals off. How to make whale appear. The Whales of Rhyme. Uh, that is not the correct book.
will work. Okay. Yeah, so that, uh, back at the very beginning when we were in the desert there by the cleft, and there was that big animal skull, uh, that was one of the warks from Riven. Well, shoot. Well, I'm glad we caught that on camera, or else I would have no proof that that existed, but it was out there. I just wish I could have zoomed in on it a little bit more. It just... This doesn't feel done. You know, I've got all the symbols I need to get the pillar, but there's still the mechanism. I don't know, like, was it was it part of the original and then they took it out when they removed multiplayer? Or it just was it always broken like a red herring? I don't... I just... I'm not done yet. Timmy and Jimmy. God damn it. Okay, well, I guess we'll complete this one too. That's creepy. making that noise. You return again. Return to hear more. Return for a third pillar. It's an interesting cycle, this coming and going, giving and taking. Returning is what you must do, for you have torn in half the very being of one of the least. You have heard their pain. Don't falter. Did you see the hidden caves and the cages? It is where the proud would keep the least. The least were only animals, after all. Animals that could link. They could be put to work or play. They could ease the burden of the proud and fill their free time with entertainment. Quietly as Denise slept, their lives were taken. Because the proud make the rules. This wasn't the first time such a blasphemy was part of Denise. The histories whisper of it, like Vatuk the Acher or King Asimlev. And even in this age, it may not be the last. The people of Dene didn't return easily. They only would take until all was taken from them in the Great Returning, the fall that destroyed them. Dene fell only a few hundred years ago. All of it was removed. And my journey was similar. I could write things that no Dene had ever dreamed of. My writing smashed barriers held as absolutes for millennia. I could change things, I could move things. I could control things. I learned beyond my parents, I learned beyond all. I wrote ages against Dene challengers, masters of the art, and they were beaten. I took all that I could hold. Only death can conquer pride so strong. For the Dene and for Yusha, it was death that moved me to return. All died. All but the least. The unproud. The Bahro considered themselves as dead already. And so they continued to watch Dene, always ready to give more away. And now they will return. Okay, so I guess chronologically, this must happen. Sign why? Why are there two? Am I missing something from that? That's a different symbol on that pillar. Or is it? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! So this is the other pillar I haven't claimed yet? So of, of the four? Have, I haven't been paying attention to the, all these pillars. 
Could I just walk over there and claim it? Um, anyway, chronologically, this game must happen significantly after the base cannon. Because um, you mentioned hundreds of years ago when Dunny fell. And Gen was a part of the fall of Dunny, from what I recall. Gen was obviously alive in Riven. Um, and, you know, in the last game, Yisha was a kid. So, it, it, his granddaughter. So, I mean, it was kind of hinted at in the previous games that they live a long time. I'm pretty sure one of the Atrus's journals mentions uh, how long he's been doing things. So, like, you know, they don't have average human lifespans. Um, but to imply that it was that long ago when when Gen uh, caused problems. Um, I'm going to try and jump over there after we, we summon this or complete this thing. Because I don't see... Those can't be from the other ages. that I've, I've collected, because there's no room for the symbols. Alright, let's go for a run. Nope, <laughs> doesn't let me. Doesn't let me. So maybe those things scoot out? That leaves just the one. This is a horrendous looking shirt, by the way. Yeah, there's just so much, like, we're missing a book here, we're missing a book here. These three for sure, if only the ones with symbols have any actual physical books. And then, of course, the rest of all of this. I still, I haven't got a damned clue how to read these. Let me, okay, let me just look at the walkthrough real quick. It, it, it literally says, walk into the darkness and then ignore the animals. So all those sounds. Let's go back to Teladon. Wait a minute. Use the journey cloth marker to get back to the dock area. Down to the round room and under the stairs. Touch the Baro stone. Oh, okay, okay. So this this just told me to complete the age and then get the Baro Stone, which goes back to Garrison, which we also did. And then it looks like Kadish Tola, which was the the very first one I solved. And then the fourth book. Wow, it actually it actually doesn't look like there's too much more to this game. Um but we're going back. So that god, they they have to have cut out a ton from from whatever the game was. Either that or it was all stuff they expected to expand cuz that that could be, you know, when they were doing this as an MMO and they were expecting to have a lot of content, they might have just done all of this anticipating that there'd be books to this place and that place and all that. But... See, so just looking through here uh, real quick, there doesn't look to be too much more to the game, but it doesn't seem to talk about Dunny. Ages and Places. 
In fact, there's even a place to go to Mist. So is this the before expansion pack walkthrough? Is that what's going on with this? Maybe maybe this other walkthrough has stuff you can only find via the DLC? I guess it wouldn't be DLC. It was technically expansions. You had to buy it, not download it. I don't know. It, it, it just... <laughs> it feels like there's still too much left in the game. And I'm not sure what content I am missing out on. Like, were there puzzles in this place that I didn't solve, or was it, was it just a, like a gathering hub? See, now this map is completely different than the other one that I wrote down. Camera nonsense again. Fantastic. Game is literally falling apart. Yeah, how do I get to that? What do these numbers mean? There's still more to this. There's still a lot more to this. Either these are all puzzles that got ripped out, or they are puzzles that are not in this walkthrough. Like this thing. This thing is a puzzle. That I never solved. Okay. Uh, I don't know. This game... <laughs> this game is a mess. It really just... And did I... Okay, yeah, so this is how I got to... Some of these places. What was this place? Did I even go into these books before? I don't recognize this at all. What the heck is this place? Two eighteen. Uh, pen, please. So obviously this is a clockwork type puzzle. I'm imagining we have to set things to certain times. Yeah, I didn't even jump in here before. This has to be expansion content. My notes are a mess too, by the way. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> It looks like a spore creature. Oh, jeez! What the... <laughs> it's like it attacked my ankles. Um, where the hell is this? Okay, well, I don't want to get too deep into this stuff. I don't want to distract from... from the rest of it. And I do, uh, I do want to end the stream here soon. I just... See, now this looks like original Mist-type design here. This looks like something out of Riven. But how do I get over there? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. See, okay, yeah. There's there's uh, there's a bit missing here from from the story. There's there's not. Oh hey. Now whenever I touch these, that usually activates another book because it's the expansion book. Can I jump out there? I don't know. Okay okay I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. We'll we'll come out here and play with this one some other time. Um, yeah, interesting. I also want to know now that I know these change my island. 
I want to find a source that tells me where all the pages are so I can get them all. Another book? Uh, must be this book. Wait a minute, is it that book? I guess I'll, I'll click on both of them. That binding doesn't look familiar. Okay, that's that one. So where is this one? To that place. Okay, real quick, real quick. That's the wrong one. Oh yeah, and that's another age. That's another place that I... The one with the monorail. That was the place with the monorail, and I didn't solve that one yet either. Uh, okay, I want to click on... Did I already read this one? Ircana and Anoine. Uh, I, I guess I already read this one. The Watcher's Sanctuary. Okay. God, I don't remember. We're going to have to come back here for sure. And then, yes, okay, this is the desert place. So, so the reason it doesn't mention this part, this place, is because it has to be a part of the DLC, or not DLC, the expansion. Yeah, I recognize this place now. Never figured out a damn thing about it. But, okay. Um, well. It makes me wonder, then, if the game... You know, once we get the pillars and all that stuff and complete the main game, does that... Does that still require me to unlock? Because I don't see how they're connected now. I, I understand the goal of collecting these pillars, but now I don't understand the goal of the other parts of it if they're not connected. And, uh, man. This game, this game, this game. I, I, it, it's kind of fun to relearn and I, I definitely never finished this game. I don't remember enough to feel like I ever finished this game. But, so it's kind of fun to be introduced to something new uh, in the universe that I, I'm not fully familiar with, but at the same time, I also kind of feel like I could have just skipped this game. Just done Mist 5 and pretended this never existed. <laughs> it's just, it's so, so weird, so out there. And my notes are now completely worthless to me because there's just so much scribbled on here that just I gotta redo these notes. Yeah. Uh what was the first age? Well, I I can do this on my own. I wanna go back and see if I can get back into the chamber. Okay, yeah, that's the one that we didn't solve. Uh, I want to go back to the very first chamber. It must have been in this one. Except I can't because I think I blocked it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I want to go back because I want to see what that symbol on the floor was. And take a picture. I guess I can I can look through the, the old videos at that. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um... I guess we'll I guess we'll call it a stream here. Uh, I think after we do this, like I said, I think we're almost done with the main content. I'm gonna have to find a guide on the uh, expansion content and whether it has to be done at all. I would like to, but because otherwise there's no completion to this. There's no story. It really just doesn't feel like this is complete <laughs> as an entity. Um, but I think we'll we'll give it a little bit of time between this and the fifth game. Um, 
there so so Halloween this year falls on a Sunday. So we'll probably do a special stream at the end of October there for the Halloween. Um there's a a game, a puzzle game that just got re-released uh called Seventh Guest. Um that was a as a game that I remember probably around about the time that I played Mist back in the day. Um, and it's kind of a spooky horror themed puzzle game. Um, I definitely know I never beat that. And so I was thinking maybe we could do that. Um, also, uh, I think it's Vermintide 2 is the one that you can tie to Twitch. Um, we might maybe do that. I don't know how long I want the, the Sunday stream to be. Probably just the, the normal length, but we can maybe fit a few games in there uh, just for, for doing that. Uh, but, you know, I mean, for, for the foreseeable future, <laughs> again, I, uh, I I haven't looked at the, the what's it, uh, core game to do. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did mention that a, a long time ago. Um, probably should do it. Aren't you the one that, that got me that game? I think you are. Oh, you did? I, I watched that video that you linked. I don't know, some of it looks fun. Some of it does look very incomplete. 